We're Carl and Alex, and we've been fishing together since we were little. We fished across the world and caught loads of different species. Over time though, our brotherly rivalry has grown and now it's time to find out who is the better angler. Yes! No! Yes! There's one! There's one! Oh, crazy! Oh! Yeah! Oh. I can't even see it! No! I didn't even catch it. Yesterday evening, we spent a couple of hours preparing our kit. Today is gonna to be primarily a pike fishing day, but we've also got some rods to fish for perch as well, because when we came here a couple of years ago, when we put the underwater camera down, there were some very aggressive perch that wanted to take our big pike lure. But this is the lake, it's very clear water, there are a lot of pike in here, but whether they're on the feet today, it's a different story. It's very cold, that's mm. all I know. I've just put another layer on. We have only a few hours on our hands. Get the rest of our stuff ready, have a little look around the lake, and then we'll get started. Cool. So, for the first episode of Carl vs Alex, we had decided on a point system based on biggest and most. We would award a point for the biggest pike, but also a point for the most pike, and another one for the most perch. This match would last three hours and all fish must be recorded on camera in order for them to count. First problem of the day, Carl's got in a tangle. My braid has gone through the split ring. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. There's no one fishing around this area and there's no one fishing on the far side either. And the far side is the bit where there's loads of pike. I mean, there's no pike over there, right? No mm. pike in that bit. Okay. Oh. Um, stick to this side. I, I skipped breakfast because we're up so early, so I'm eating braid. Oh, that's nice. No, why I'm actually eating braid is because um, you're I, not so terrible when you've got to retie. I had to retie. <laughs> I think it's time to get started. Ready? Three, two, one, go. go. Oh, this is it. You going for that swim as well? Yeah, because this is the best swim on the lake. <laughs> <laughs> I think we both knew, didn't we? Carl versus Alex. It begins, Carl. It begins. It begins. Now. Put my camera down. I'm going, going for the putt. Putt. Yeah, mate. You mad, bro? No. I'm just good. This is the best pike swim in the See, country. They, the pike will chase so close in. I'm definitely um, a more extreme amount of excited today. My reputation is on the line. My, mine is probably more so because, you know, everybody knows I'm the better angler. So if I lose, then it'll be more of a shock. Yeah, I, I see what you mean, but... No, I thought I had a bite then, that was weird. Yes. Are you serious? Yep. That is definitely a bite. I don't want to get tangled in your line. What? Oh, it's not huge, but it's a good pike to start off the day. Oh, wow, yes, I'm going to grab him. Stay pinned, stay pinned. Oh, yeah, buddy. I've got, if I can get hold of it. By the way, if you touch the fish, it counts. Oh, so now you've caught it. Come here, you. Yes! Oh my god, that really hurt. Ow, 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 I'm bleeding. Great success. I've got off the mark already. My second cast into the lake with my pike lure. And I've got one. My little finger is bleeding quite badly because it thrashed around and uh, cut me on its sharp gill covers. But I've got one. I'd say, what, four pounds, five pounds? Uh, yeah. Biggest and most, thank you very much. I think the match ends now, doesn't it? Shout out, mate. One nil to the champion. Well, I'm actually really, really, really happy about that. I can't believe it. I got one already. Mustn't get too carried away, though. I've got to pace myself. I need a... Um, Pacemaker. Pacemaker. Uh, no, what, yeah, what is it in marathons? Pacekeeper. 
pace, yeah. pacemaker is what um, makes, Grand, grandma make, has. Yeah, grandma has make, makes his heart not stop. Very important bit of kit, by the way. This was the lure that started things off for me. Oh, your finger looks painful. It is really painful. It proper thrashed around and cut me. Yeah, and I just put that treble hook in the tail of the lure. And it wriggles. I think that metal tray is a bit long though. I could have had it a bit shorter. Without further ado, it's time to make a few more casts and continue to win the first edition of Kyle versus Alex. I'm actually mad. Thing is, I still think there's a good chance of a perch in here. And I think if I can catch a perch, Carl hasn't Ooh. got the... No, you... Oh, I missed it. I, I was not ready for that at all. Do you hear what you were about to say? I said, you, you and then I stopped. You mother flipper. No, not that bad. <laughs> not that rude. You scumbag. <laughs> you... Sneaky oh, weasel. <laughs> you sneaky weasel, you. I had a bite. You know what, there's not much weed about. No, it's good. It's perfect. It means I can let... Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, I just pulled across a bit of weed and I got excited. I had a bite first cast there. Yep. Oh, that's a pike. He's not a perch. Luckily, I've got a trace on though. It's a fish. Yeah. Does smallest one count? Small, no, sm there isn't a prize for smallest <laughs> pike. But there is a prize for most. You know what this would have won though? What competition this would have won? Fishing Wars, Fishing Wars <laughs> against <laughs> Yoshi and no. Matt. Doesn't count, didn't touch it. <gasps> didn't Let touch it. <laughs> you just got tangled in my line oh. as well. Good one, mate, good one. Oh, it's just over. I don't know what it is. No, it's fine. Look, all it needs is a simple bit of patience. Maybe a bit more than just patience. Look at us, pro YouTubers with 120k subs we can't fish without getting in a massive tangle. There we go. Whoa! Jeez, my fingers are cold already. I'm bored alive, hypothermic. Oh wow, look at that blood. Oh, Cole's got an injury. Hopefully he loses enough blood so that he passes out and I can just <laughs> automatically win. <laughs> oh! Yeah. Oh. I just felt a three pound perch just have a little tug on it. Well, it seems to have dried up. We've got some very quick action. Oh, sorry. Fudge. Sorry. A little tap on your rod tip there, mate. <laughs> I'd oh, strike right that if I were you. Soon after, Alex had another bite. Yep. Oh, this feels like a perch. No, this is a perch. Don't it's be a perch. A it's a perch. It must be. Are you serious? <laughs> It's the smallest pike in the world. <laughs> I can't even see it. No. <laughs> I, I didn't even, even catch count. it. Doesn't I even, didn't even touch it. It doesn't even count because he didn't touch it. What oh, an idiot. Dear. You are such a mug. Oh, come on. I can't look. Oh, it's another absolute giant. Well, you're going for the numbers, I guess. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. But you touched it. That's one all. That is just adorable. That's the smallest bug I've ever seen it. <laughs> so we've been fishing for about 20 minutes in that first swim. We were both fishing there and I've figured out what my game plan is today. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and stick with the smaller because I think I'll be able to definitely catch the most pike. Uh, in that swim I had three bites from some very small fish. So I'm going to stick with this small little jig head on the soft plastic. And also on that, I have a chance of a perch as well. And I don't think Carl is going to really try for the perch much. So that's going to be my plan. But yeah, let's get after it. Let's try and catch some more fish. Hopefully a perch. He thinks he's got it under his belt, but he ain't. I actually taught him to fish. I've just changed uh, my lure over. I was fishing with a just a random weird blue slow sinking lure um, and it worked I caught one I saw Alex caught quite a few small pike like really baby pike so I've actually switched my lure over to an imitation of a pike it's actually jointed as well so it has quite a cool action in the water which I just tested just had a look at it I've never used it before but seeing Alex catch those little pike I feel like this could replicate what the bigger pike are feeding on remember to stop recording Right, let's go. 
Alex, have you had any more? No. No. Good. Time is of the essence. Just hoping this little pike claw works its magic. No pike in that swim, so we're going to keep moving until we find some more. The new lure has done nothing yet. Alright, one more cast and I'm done in this spot. Oh, it's not exactly kicking off. It's really strange. We fished that first swim in the deep water and we had a number of bites and we fished like five or six other spots and not caught a single fish. So I think the only thing we can do is just keep moving. We kind of want our oh, train. Train. Nothing. Oh man, this lure just ain't doing it. That lure is coming off. If I can use my freezing cold hands to even open that link clip up. Oh golly. Getting rid of that lure. That did not do the trick. He can go back in my little box. Little roach. Let's get on the roach. Ricky the roach Westin lure. I'm gonna give that a try. Let's get to it. Cast further than the bike lure. That's a good start. Let's hope this one works. It's been dead in here. Mate, it's dead down there. I can't get a bite on anything. Nah. Well, it... Train. That's correct. Still using that little pointless lure? Yeah. Why? Because... I've had more bites than you. Look at him, all smug. Thinks he knows what he's doing. Nah. In the past, I wouldn't have ever really described myself as particularly competitive. But now, with the opportunity to try and outfish my brother, Alex, yeah, okay, there's some competition getting involved now. There's some, there's some brotherly rivalry. There's some aggression. No, not aggression. But yeah. I don't need to win because it's always been sort of joked about that Alex is better at fishing than me and I don't like it. It's time to put an end to it. Oh my god, I can see a pike. Oh, he's just there. He's looking at it. Come on. Oh, you're kidding. You're kidding. Another, another pike went for it. Another pike went for the lure. Why can I not catch one? Yes, there's one, there's one. Whoa. It's hooked right on the edge, come on. Yes. Yes. There you have it, fish number two. What a result. Happy days. Well, that's good. Another fish under my belt. Oh, wow, a huge carp just jumped out. I'd so love to carp fish here, but it's a uh, syndicate ticket to carp fish this lake, so it's unlikely I will carp fish it. But anyway, I don't think Alex is doing too well. Oh. I'm most wildlife cameraman. It's been pretty slow since we first started. I've not had a single touch since that first swim. So we're gonna move around the other side of the lake, which has had some sun on it this morning. That water will be a bit warmer over there and there might be some more pikes out around there because I can't win this competition with what I've got already. I hope there isn't any perch there because I haven't, haven't flipped and even brought my perch rod. Oh, heron. Oh, I was too slow. Oh no. Well, hey, heron. Seen some activity. Down there. Oh yeah, yeah. Wait. Yeah, that's a fish. Feels like a, what? I don't know what's going on. Carp. Yeah, I think so. Might 
Might just be weed. I swear I felt a bite though. <laughs> oh, it's just, it's <laughs> just turn the cameras off. Oh, I could have sworn that was a bite. It was like such a tap. <laughs> Obviously wasn't. No, no points for that, mate. Ah, unlucky. Oh, I had a monster on. Yeah. Right, I've got to get back to the fishing. It's quite warm now. This area is not very productive right now. Oh, I see a pike. I just spotted a pike. Oh yeah, 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 I've got him, I've got him. He's took it, oh my God. Stay down. I watched him take it. Come here, come here. Oh yes. Oh, it's, not, it's not even hooked. Didn't even need that. Pike number two for me. My second fish, so it's got me closer to winning most fish award of the year. No, shut up, Alex. I caught a pike. Wait, so you've had two pike as well? Yeah. Numbers we're drawing. Oh, it's actually a bit closer than I thought. I stuck it out with the larger roach imitation lure. Being able to cast further meant I could cover more water. But Alex's little perch lure seemed to be working well for the micro pike. Oh yeah! Oh! Oh! I have got something which is definitely a bit bigger on the tiny lure. He took it so far. Oh. I can see the hook. Ah. Remember, you have to touch the fish. <laughs> no, don't like pat it on the head, mate. It's not, no. a, do it's not a dog. Oh, Lord. That's bigger than yours. There we go, my third pike, and also bigger than Carl's. That's Damn. the main thing. <laughs> and it took the tiny lure. Oh, crazy. And it took it so close into the margin as well. Crazy bite. What a pike. Ah, hi, mate. <laughs> that could be a winning fish. Now over halfway through the match, this slightly larger pike switched up the scores and put Alex in a position to win. I can't feel my fingers. Bloody train. Go train somewhere else. He even honked back at me. The scores on the doors have turned very quick since... We oh! That didn't mean to do that. Soon after moving around to this side, I did have a sneaky feeling that there would be more pike around here just because there is sun on this area of the lake. But I had one up there which got me drawing with Cole in terms of numbers. He still had the bigger one. And then I came into this spot, made a cast down that margin and caught one which was definitely bigger than Cole's. Cole's just snuck ahead of me down there. But to be honest, I'm not too worried because he never seems to catch more than me. It'll be fine, I've got this. To all those uh, Alex fans out there who are on my side, on my team, don't worry, I've got this. Fringe factor 500,002. Well, I've really got my work cut out now. Not only has Alex overtaken me for most fish, but he's also caught the biggest one of the day so far. I find myself casting further and reeling in quicker as the day goes on. I think I'm getting a bit nervous now. We don't have a huge amount of time left and Alex is back in the lead. Oh, there's a big wake. Yeah, no. That was a pike chasing then. I saw a big swirl. There was definitely a fish chasing that. 
Come on, will it come back? Will it come back? Yeah. No! Damn! I felt him. Oh dear, two missed bites. It's just not good enough. Oh, yeah! Oh, ho, ho, ho. that was sick! That is not fair. That was so cool. That was actually mad. He took it so close in. Uh, what, what, what number is that? That's number four. Oh Lord, I'm on two, mate. It, it is a real pike, I can confirm that is a pike. I'm about to get one now though. That was the coolest buy I've had in a long time. Oh wow, that's beautiful. That is so cool. So cool. Four. Oh, I've got to follow, I've got to follow. Four. Yo! It's kicking up. Oh, Alex. Yeah, oh, he's not as big as mine, surely. Nah. Nah, mate. He's chubby. But he's not huge. Oh, look at you, trout fisherman. I'm not. <laughs> so that, that's pipe number three for me. What are you on? Four. Four. And that's got a slightly bigger one. This one isn't huge. It's a bit smaller than the others. Thank you, Pike. You helped me at least claw back a little bit. I think I still need a miracle if I'm going to completely catch up with you, though. You only need I don't know, one more. One more. It needs to be big. Yeah. And then it's completely it could all turn around in a matter of seconds yeah we got um i've got to try and get a perch as well at some point see if i get a perch then you're done for so that's me done in another swim had one pike from here but alex also had a pike from here so we're still really really level apart from of course alex is winning because he's caught the biggest fish so far We've got a couple more swims to go and we've got very little time left. So I think I'm just gonna race down to the end of the lake, get in that deep water swim and try, just try and get one more big pike because that could be enough um, to salvage a win. We're getting near the end now. Only got a few more spots to try out around this corner and uh, still there's all to play for. I sound like a quiz host. There's still all to play for. Will he get the next question right to win one million pounds? I have a sneaky suspicion this margin could do me a butt. Oh my God, what has happened here? Today's just been tangle after tangle for me. What is flipping heck? How has this even occurred? Oh, that's okay. There wasn't even a tangle there. Got a sneezles. Oh yeah. And I've got him. Took the little lure again. Well, it looks like Alex has got one. He's flying ahead here, it's not good. That was number five. I'm gonna take off that weightless lure that I used earlier. And switch up to a perch imitation lure with that 10 gram weight on the top to get it down in, in, the, in the slightly deeper water. I'm really, ow, I'm really hoping this sorts me out with a last minute whacker. I worked my lure through all the deep water, varying the retrieve speed, before checking my phone and realizing we had just a few minutes left. But I could catch a big one now. You never know. And pull it up to a draw. 
I returned to the swim we started in, the best spot for a big pike, and tried my best to make something happen. Well, by the time Alex gets around to this swim, it'll be 11 o'clock and the end of the match. And I still haven't got that big pike. Looks like I may have to admit defeat. Oh, I'm not going to be able to get another cast in. If a pike doesn't hit it now, it's game over for me. Come on, come out of nowhere. 20 pounder, where are you? Oh, 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 oh no. They looked at it. Oh, they're still there, it's still there. Yes, no, no, it came off. Ah, oh. oh, you have got to be joking me. At the last knockings, Carl hooks a good one and fricking loses it. That's it, mate. Time's up. If you make another cast, I'm going to confiscate your rods. And that was it. We ended our first match with me having landed three pike and no perch. Alex, though, catching five pike and the biggest one too. This resulted in Alex scoring two points to my zero. This time, my brother Alex was the winner. Wow. That was a nice train. Tell you what, Colt. Mm -hmm. Maybe that should be your new hobby, train spotting, because I think you'd probably be better at that. Well, that is the end of the first edition of Cole vs Alex. We hope you've enjoyed watching. Stick a comment down below of what you think of this new series and whether or not you'd like to see more of them. All I can say is, well done Alex on beef... What's all that about? Well, I'm a gangster? Yeah, blood. What, what would mum and dad do? Fist bump. Yeah. <laughs> we hope you've enjoyed watching and we'll see you guys in the next episode of Cole vs Alex where we're gonna be, I'm gonna win. Today is a very exciting day because we are competing again to see who is the best angler, the better brother. Today's competition is gonna be carp, so let's hit the road. <laughs> We're Carl and Alex, and we've been fishing together since we were little. We fished across the world and caught loads of different species. Over time though, our brotherly rivalry has grown, and now it's time to find out who is the better angler. Yes! Alright, get in. Yes, straight in. I can't believe it. Well, that happened a lot quicker than I expected. To be almost certain it's probably the biggest fish in here. Hello. Hello. Can I have maggots? Of course you can. For free? Obviously. <laughs> one, one maggot. This is Ricky, he works at a local tax shop. He's a good lad. Yo, yo. He's a good lad he is. Carl's just popping into the tackle shop to pick up some bait. This bait is going to be my edge today. Mm. Going to get a couple of pints of maggots, but I have actually chosen not to go with that, as I reckon, from previous experience, I've seen a lot of small roach and rud in the lake. I'm going to stick with a pellet and bright pop-up approach. I reckon that should do the trick. You got your bait? Sorry it took a while to service in there. It's just... Dreadful, dreadful. That Ricky who works at the till can't do maths. No, I'm joking. Big up Bodles Angling for the 20% discount they gave us on our maggots. <laughs> Represent. Let's get down the canal. Help if I don't stall the flipping van. I'm really hyped again. Fishing's good, isn't it? For this episode of Carl vs Alex, the scoring system was simple. The winner would be the angler with the most points at the end of the match. Common carp counting as one point, but the rare mirror carp counting as two points, as there aren't very many of them in this canal. 
The match would end at 4.30, giving us a total of four hours fishing. There you go. Sorted. Oh, there's carp cruising around. It's a bit cold. This, this, today is gonna to be the coldest, unless we do an ice fishing challenge. This is the location for the day. It's kind of a weird sort of venue because there are quite a few carp in here. The water is really clear, which is what makes this place really exciting to fish. I'm hoping there's gonna be quite a lot of sight fishing today. Seeing the fish, baiting spots in the margins, and hopefully catching a few as well. We're down at the water's edge now, ready to get started. This area that we're at now has got loads of carp cruising around. We've seen a few drifting around in the margins. I'm ready to get started, what about you? I'm also ready. In that case, let's go. Well, I was gonna get to a countdown, okay. Well, yeah, but it'll be a bit. Three, two, one, go. I wasn't ready for that. I've brought a range of kit with me today to fish with uh, baits on the bottom, but we've seen a few carp, so I'm gonna start with my stalking rod. It's already set up, just a hook on the end of some 10 pound line. I'm gonna get some maggots on the hook and just try and grab one quickly. I think if I can catch a fish really quick, I can get ahead. On the other hand, I'm gonna take things slowly. I've got two rods, which I set up last night with small 12 mil bright pop-up. I'm gonna bait up some spots in the margin, try and get them confidently feeding, and hopefully build an area where there will just be every single carp in the lake feeding on my spot, and then I can catch way more than carp. I saw a few fish underneath this tree earlier. I wonder if they're still down here. A benefit of stalking with maggots was that I'd have more chance of picking out a rare mirror carp, which counted as two points in this competition. Oh, they're looking at it. He's looking at it. Is he gonna eat it? Is he gonna eat it? Come on, grab it, take it. So I've got a bag of some four mil pellets, I think these are. And I'm basically just gonna walk along the margin here, keeping my eye out for any fish. And where I see some signs, I'm gonna bait up. Oh, just seen some, just out there. Well, these fish are a little bit harder than I expected. I've made a couple of casts to them and they've just looked at the maggots and just zoomed off in the opposite direction. I had one fish that looked like it grabbed it, but it might have just touched the line. I'm not really sure. I just saw the line twitch. I think I'm gonna put some bait on one other spot as well. Just so I've got two options. Get some leads on my rods. And now I'm snagged on the bottom. Haha. <laughs> Kyle just got snagged. Yeah, that's the business. I'm gonna have a look further down the bank, try and find some fish down there. There's one rod set. The aim is to try and find a fish that's got his head in the silt, is definitely preoccupied. So you've got to creep up on one that doesn't know you're there. So I'm gonna walk up and down here, try and find a fish that I can flick my three nine maggots in front of. That's a good fish. That is a big one. This is a big carp. Oh, he's swimming away from me. I'm not seeing a lot of fish along here. It's coming already! Oh, it's so quick. It was the first one that came across the bait. Come on, maybe. Yes, the first one of the carp match. Nice, first one of the match. I am one nil up, but we're gonna have to catch a few more, I reckon, to win this thing, because there's plenty of hungry carp in here to catch yet. Hello, pigeons. Oh, goodbye, pigeons. These fish are sneaky. I knew that before I came out today, but I thought they'd take three line maggots, surely. Well, that happened a lot quicker than I expected. The bike came on a bright yellow pop-up, small one and a half ounce lead on a leg clip. This is sort of my preferred setup these days. I used to like using the inlines quite a lot, but a leg clip is just so easy to change leads. And in this case, I could travel to the lake with 
no no weight on and then just clip on whatever size I think I need without cutting the setup up or uh, cutting the line. Anyway, I'm going to drop this rod in once again, but not on that spot. I'm gonna go down to the first spot that I baited and see if there's any fish on there. So I flicked the rod up, up the margin, and then I've walked it back to here, so I'm nowhere near the spot that I'm actually fishing. I'm gonna put the rod on the ground and sit back and hope that another one isn't too far away. Can you take the fun out of it, being able to see them? No, it makes it more exciting for me. Is it? Because where we've had so much rain, it's really clear in places, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, let you get on with it. <laughs> see ya. This stalking is difficult. Hmm. It's been a bit quiet for the last 25 minutes. The first bite came so quick, and that does often happen. Because when you get to the lake, there's been no fishing pressure whatsoever. The fish are just hungry. You get a bite quick, and that's when they start to spook and get a bit more shy. So I think I'm going to have to wait a bit longer for the next bite. The spots are baited up again though. I'm gonna wait a bit longer, maybe give it 25, 30 minutes more, and then I might think about having to move to a different part of the lake. Yes, yes, finally I've got one. It's a good one too. I've hooked one and it is proper scrapping. Don't know how Carl's getting on though. He went stalking around the rest of the lake. So maybe he's smashing it up. I don't know. Let's hope not. Oh, that's beautiful. Yes. All right, let's get the net. He's gonna get in the net. Yes. Oh, he, <laughs> he fits, he fits. Oh, that's a big boy. Almost need forceps. That has got to be the biggest one of the match so far. It's really nice fish. Highly doubt Alex has caught one this big. Hmm, it has gone very quiet. I'm gonna move a little bit up the bank and try there. So now I have two rods out. I've got this one here going underneath that bush where that little chicken is. And then I've also put a rod up this margin. Let's see how it goes. There's my pop-up. The so close to the feeding fish. I just went past it. Come on, there's three of them. There's three fish all feeding down there. Oh, he flipping took it and then he spat it out. I've come back round to where I left my gear near Alex. He's just told me that he's only caught one fish. So at the moment, we're actually drawing. I thought he had had more. Um, I was convinced he was gonna catch more fish than what he has. So I'm gonna grab my gear and move around there and fish bottom baits. Back round in my swim, I mixed up some maggots and crushed boilies ready to bait up. Nice. So what I've just done is baited a few spots with a couple of handfuls of maggot and boily crumb. And I'll see which of those spots fish start to feed on. But in the meantime, whilst I wait, I'll get my rigs ready. Whilst I prepared my kit, the fish in Alex's area were feeding again. Number two. There we go. That's fish number two for me. Another lovely small common. Fish had begun feeding on my spots too, and I was nearly ready to cast out. So the rigs that I tied up for this match, I tied them up last night. They are basically just size six hooks, knotless knotted to a length of braid with the last section stripped back so it's supple. I've used the kickers because in the red and white colors, they look just like maggots. I need to be quite quick, so I didn't want to fiddle around with foam or um, you know, threading maggots onto a needle or a maggot clip. I just want to hook them straight on the hook. 
it looks like it could work and um, I'm gonna give it a go today. I've got two spots that I've seen fish feeding on. I checked out a little bit of bait earlier and they've started feeding. A little bit of colored water coming up, so I'm gonna nick a few maggots onto these two hooks, loop them onto my rigs and get them, uh, get them dropped in. I'm gonna use a little PVA bag as well so I concentrate some bait around the, around the hook and I'll just have to sit back and hope that they feed on my spots and I catch a couple more. Have I got a bite already? I have. That was so quick. Come here. Yes. Cole better be on his toes around the other side of the lake. He better be on the ball because I don't think he's caught three. There it is. The finished rig. Hook on a little PVA bag. Nice. Let's give it a go. See ya, buddy. I doubt he thinks I'm his buddy. Alex was well ahead by this point, but I felt confident of a bite with the maggot rigs I was using now. I've got the rods in now. I'm fishing. I've got two rods out, both on maggots. One by the floating island, this side. One tucked under the floating island down there. I've seen fish over that one. Like, there was even fish there when I flicked the rod out, but down there it was dead. Didn't really see anything, but we're gonna give it a go and see what happens. The problem was, Alex was still getting bites. It's like a deep bodied, chunky fish. Come in. Come in. Yes, he's in. He is in. He's my biggest one as well. Look at that. There he is. Fish number four for me. Man, he fought so hard. It's so amazing watching them in the clear water as they fight. But yeah, that's a nice one. Now that is very nice. I'm still yet to hear from Carl. He's round that corner fishing up the other arm. Who knows how it's going for him. Hopefully he hasn't found a big shoulder of them and caught loads. I hadn't found a big shoal, nor had I caught loads, but what I had done is move my right hand rod down the margin and place the rig under the overhanging tree where fish had begun feeding hard. I've finally got one. It's taken a long time. I've hooked another fish. <laughs> it's another good one. <laughs> snap that one into the net. Because the water is so clear, you really get to see the fish. And I've watched like individual fish and I've pretty much seen most of the stock. And this one, I can be almost certain, is probably the biggest fish in here. Look at that. That is heavy and very, very lively for some reason. I'm not sure if Alex has caught any more, but I'm pretty chuffed. I'd caught two fish now, but the day was passing quickly. I decided to head back to Alex and grab my phone to check what time it was. Just spotted someone on the far side. That little rat over there. What do you reckon? Has he caught more than four? Or less than four? What's the scores on the doors? I've had another one. Really? Yeah. You had two? How long, what's the time? You had two? I left, yeah. So I've got two total. Caught four more, mate. Four more? Yeah. Four on top of the, all the ones you had earlier? No, no, sorry. I've had four altogether. Okay, four total. Yeah. Four, two. I was, I was round there feeling all smug, thinking I'd got, I'd got this in the bag. Well, I was feeling all smug, oh, but I knew I had it in the bag. God. You're kidding. What's the time? I don't know. I only came round here to get my phone because I didn't know what time it was. Oh my God, 10 minutes to the end. No, we said 4.30 Yeah. 4.30. Sweet, I've got enough time. There was approximately 40 minutes left, so I decided to try stalking again. The game off at pool. As before, the fish didn't like maggots falling near them, spooking off the bait multiple times before one decided to show an interest. Oh, I finally hooked one. It's another good fish, my average size has been all right. 
Get in. Yes, yeah, straight in. The other fish I faffed around with and took photos, this one, is gonna get unhooked and put straight back. There it goes. You've seen it, it counts. I'm stressing now and I'm making silly casts into bad, bad places. I'm seriously stressing out. I think what it is is that as the light levels have dropped, the fish can't see my line so easily. So I can see another fish out there now, I'm gonna try and catch it. Currently sat on a bench, waiting for another one of my rods to rip off. But it hasn't happened again, still on four fish. It is also four o'clock. And that means we've only got half an hour left. Yes. If I land this, it could be a draw. Well, I don't think I've landed a fish that quickly in my life before. Hooks out, fish is back in the water. That's my fourth one. Oh, that was a mirror. That was a mirror. That was not good. Yes! If I can land it, who knows? Who knows what Alex is on? Yes! Yep, that is in. Yes! Gotta be nearly time now. It's gotta be. 15 minutes left. Tell you what, I can't even wait to find out. I'm gonna call him, I'm gonna see what's happening down there. What's up, bro? Um, you know we've got 10 minutes left? Yeah. I've had five fish now. No, you haven't. I have. Oh you, dear. Have you had any, any more since I saw you? I've lost two more. Oh, but not landed any? Well, it's the time is ticking away. I oh, know. Bye. <laughs> got him. We've got 10 minutes left. And I've just snuck into the lead. I think what I'm going to have to do is keep fishing. Just work at it for the last 10 minutes. Because if I can get one more bite, then it seals the deal. I've got to start thinking up some excuses. Um, we're both at the same lake. The weather is the same for both of us. Sometimes the best angler has to, no, no. The best angler doesn't always win. Even the greatest angler can't win every time. Yeah. The worst anglers often get lucky, as today has proved. Just as Alex was thinking of excuses, this happened. I can't believe it. The last few minutes of the match. And in this net is a fully scaled mirror, which means that is two points. Convinced that I'd caught enough fish to win, as the time ran out, I packed away and returned to see Alex. It's so misty. It's really cool. You got one in the net? Yeah. What is it? Get ready for this. No, you're Get taking ready. the piss. No, Get don't. Your mind. Don't wind me up. Bosh. It's it's a bloody fully scaled mirror. Yeah, man. Two points. You've just crushed my dreams, Alex. Somehow, surely due to luck rather than skill, Alex had stolen the win from me right at the end. I hate you. What do you say about that, bro? You've done it again. You've humiliated me in front of our viewers and you've caught probably the nicest fish of the day as well. I caught much bigger ones though, I will just say that. I think there definitely should have been a prize for biggest fish. I don't know why we didn't do that, because I would have. I done. definitely didn't catch many big ones. All of mine were really? so small, yeah. But there it is. Alex has pulled it out of the bag right at the end. Last minute, it was literally so last minute. And he's beaten me in another episode of Carl versus Alex. Oh my goodness, that's a carp. Whoever wins the coin toss gets to choose what spot to fish behind us. Heads. 
Yes. No. This side. Oh, damn it, that's where, that's where I saw the carp earlier. We're Carl and Alex, and we've been fishing together since we were little. We fished across the world and caught loads of different species. Over time though, our brotherly rivalry has grown and now it's time to find out who is the better angler. This was going to be a multi-species competition, so the scoring for this episode of Carl vs Alex is as follows. One point for a bream, three points for the slightly rarer tench, and five points for the elusive carp. The match would last 24 hours starting at midday, and the person who ends on the most points is the winner. And for a bit of fun, we decided if one of us catches the lake record, they automatically win the competition. Yes! No! What's going on? Oh, well it's over. What are you doing? What? That's not on. What? You are, you, you're about to put that bait out, aren't you? Oh, no, I was just stretching, warming up the catapult. Yeah, sounds legit. You can't bait up until 12. What's the time? Oh, it's actually one minute, one minute away. Come on, you can let me off for that. And the match starts now. now. Now, I know that carp count for five points and bream only for one, but I came on a session here not long ago and found out that there were a lot of bream. I'm sure Alex is going to get tempted by the carp and the five points because he's greedy like that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it steady. I'm gonna go for bream. I've got a feeder rod and some corn. So I'm gonna start on that and try and get ahead. Now, unlike Carl, I've never fished this place before. I don't have a clue what we're in for, but when we did arrive, I spotted some carp on the far side. So that's exactly what I'm gonna go for. You get five points for a carp as well. So I'm just gonna try and catch some of them. I'm armed with some boilies, I've got some pellets as well, and I think I'm gonna target that far side with all three of my rods. Let's look inside my box of tricks. I'm gonna pop on a lead clip setup. I think I'll probably need a two ounce lead to reach that far side. So you need to attach a rig to that, and then we're ready to cast out. Alex had seen a couple of carp over by the far margin, so I couldn't resist but tie up a chod rig and cast that out just now just means that I'm fishing nice and quickly. I've now had a chance to get my feeder rod tied up and I'm introducing a bit of bait with the feeder, just a few cagefuls of ground bait, just to try and get those bream feeding in the area. Probably put out four or five and then I'll get started on the feeder fishing. Just let the feeder hit the bottom, wait for the ground bait to start dissolving out of it and then strike it and the bait will all come out. Let's do this, first cast on the feeder. Feeling confident, but judging by my performance in the last two Cole vs Alex episodes, I don't know, I've got to concentrate, watch that tip. And now the long wait begins. I brought a lot of kit this session, but I forgot my PVA. All of it? All of it. <laughs> Sucker. But what I did bring were my binoculars. <laughs> Great. Now you can look at your bait really close up. So I can spy on you, Carl. Great, wonderful. What, oh, also, one question. Yeah. One of those. Bananas. Isn't that bad luck? No. Good luck. For me, they're good luck. Because if you eat bananas, you get some sort of vitamins, which is all good for your health. Because you energy, tennis players eat lots of bananas. That must mean something. I've got my first rod ready to go. Pop up rig, 15 mil pop up. Smells like fruit. I was gonna attach a PVA bag of boilies, but that's not happening seeing as I forgot my PVA. So I'm just going to cast this out and then catapult a few boilies around the rig. Perfect.
While I was making sure all three of my rods were cast perfectly over to the reeds, Carl was regularly recasting his feeder, trying his best to draw the bream into his swim. Yes, yes, no way. Yes, we've got a bite. Oh yeah, what's the time? Half one, Alex, and we've got the first fish of the competition. Big old bream, that. Well, there's one bream that's got me in the lead. One point. Well, Carl was one nil up, but I had just finished placing my last rod, so I was now ready to catch a car. Well, that bream completely trashed my rig snap my hook link whilst it was in the net so I've got to retie or wipe all the slime off of everything as well but one nil how do you feel Alex I think I'd rather be one nil down without any bream slime on my hands than a head with a slimy bream. Alex a fish is a fish I might be covered in slime but I'm in the lead and this is just the start nah it's the end for you we'll see I reckon I'll have more. I reckon I could have like four or five at least. Four or five bream? Yeah. I'd pay to have minus four or five bream. You're just jealous. No. You are? No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. After about half an hour, we had finally finished arguing and Carl was still getting bites on his feeder rod. I completely missed it. That's on, surely. Yes. Mate, the bream here are big. Flipping it, mate. That is a slab. What? Two nil. Oh man, it feels good to be in the lead. I'm just gonna enjoy them. Skin the glory. Enjoy the moment while it lasts. Yeah. Whatever. That's the only problem with catching bream. They're just the slimiest creatures ever. Anyway, thank you, Mrs. I think it's a female bream, this one. Thank you, Lady Bream. Wow, the plan is working. It's two o'clock. I've had two bream. And Alex, I don't think, actually brought any bream gear at all. So if I keep catching them, he's done for. Another feeder full of ground bait going back out. If I if I catch a bream like every hour of this match and I stay out all night catching bream, I could I could catch it one an hour and end off on 24 points. Fishing isn't all about catching fish, you know, it's about being out in nature, surrounded by wildlife, and also just sitting back and eating nice food. Mmm. Carrots. Ooh, go on. Crumbs are getting bites here. That's gotta be on. Yes. Woohoo! Carl's into another one. I was just munching some carrots there, Carl. Cool. I'm Look. just winning the match here. This is for three points. You've nearly got the equivalent to a carp. I know, right? And you're not going to catch any carp. What I didn't tell you is that there aren't any carp in here. Not as big as the other one, but a pretty little brasm. What's the Latin for bream? Brasm. Brasimus, brasimus. No. Slimiest fishes in the world this. <laughs> Off you go, son. Number three. Mate, I'm unstoppable. Yeah, I'm gonna win. Three nil. Three nil. But I'm not, not, I'm not getting worried just yet. Gotta stay calm, stay chilled, stay collected. Carl was catching bream at a consistent pace, but what he didn't realise was that this was going to be his last bite for a while.
The bream seemed to have moved out of Carl's area, just as he thought the match was going to be easy. The clock was ticking and with the day moving into evening, I focused really hard and stayed alert. It's time to set up the cart rods. The bream fishing has dried right up. I had a few bites early on, but it's just gone dead. So I'm getting the other cart rods ready. I particularly like those cart rods out this evening when bite time comes in, in like the, the last few hours of the day. A little concerned because time is taking away. We've been here for nearly five hours and I haven't had a single line bite, haven't seen any more fish on the far side, and I'm still on zero. But I think it's going to be all about the evening and morning bite, that's what I'm hoping anyway. No way! Let's drop back, let's drop back. Yeah, fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on! It's a tench, it's a tench! No! Yes. No! It's not quite what I was after, but it's better than a bream. I get three points for this. That pop up's almost too big for him. <laughs> Only had to catch one like this, and it's got me nearly catching up with Carl. I think Carl's one point ahead. <sighs> Damn. But a couple more and of these. And it's tiny, my bream were bigger than <laughs> I that know, as well. I know, your bream were bigger, but, but the tench harder to catch. Yeah, the tench are quite rare in here. And uh, all I need is a couple more of these, and I'll be well in the lead. Look at the eye of these tench, they're so vivid, like blood red almost. <laughs> Well, the weather has turned a lot more carpy. The uh, sun has gone away. It's got a lot cloudier and the temperatures have dropped as well, which I think is perfect for the carp fishing. That said, we still haven't had any, had any bites on the carp rods. Oh, Alex had a tench, but the carp are just being quite elusive at the moment. It's that time of the day again. Dinner time. What are you cooking up? Pasta, la vista, baby. <laughs> uh, just pasta. Although the board's not boiling, so it's pretty windy. Oh no, now it is. Yeah, it's, it's good. Master Chef. I'd win at that as well. What? No, I wouldn't. The wind has completely changed direction though. It was blowing up this way, and now it's blowing completely the other way. As long as it blows the carp towards my swim, then it's all good. Oh, you look, you look like... Um... Buddha sat there, <laughs> praying to the, the gods that these rods go off. But they won't, because you're a nod. Don't play with matches, Alex. Children should not play with matches. Alex, what are you doing? Oh, did you, did you put it in your mouth? You didn't. I think I burnt my tongue. You're an idiot. Well, Alex might have won the last couple of Carl versus Alex fishing challenges, but he definitely doesn't win when it comes to IQ. This guy's, he's not all there. Dusk was approaching and the conditions felt perfect for a bite.
Oh my goodness, that's a carp. Just as I thought nothing was gonna happen this evening, the rod is gone. Stuck in the reeds. Damn, that pulled so hard. Oh, I just gotta hope that comes out of the reeds. Oh, there it is. I felt it. That might have been it coming off, didn't it? Please stay on. Wow, I had to put some pressure on that, but he's he's coming in now. That's got a big load of weed over it at the moment. Yes. There he is. I've caught myself a cop. It's really long. What's the score? Uh, it was four, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, three. <laughs> I had to use my finger, count on my fingers to, to plus That's what your fingers are for. Oh, I didn't do very good at maths at school, I'll be honest. It was worth taking the bet. It was worth switching over to the, uh, to the cart rods when the bream fishing dried up. Because I got one in the net. Look at that. Oh, it's certainly nice when a plan actually works out and I switched my rods over to the carp gear. Uh, this one was actually on a chod rig that I cast towards quite a weedy area but an area where I had seen a fish jump a little bit earlier on in the day. And yeah, got myself a carp. Five points. <laughs> well that fills me with confidence going into the night with quite a lead on my side. Um, just got to get the rod sorted and cast back out there before it gets too dark to be able to see where it lands. It's bedtime. Do you want me to show you what I've been watching this evening? Uh, I don't know. Wait, what? <laughs> that makes no sense. Caption is zombie fish. Don't know what that means, but you know, internet is a wonderful place <laughs> to find all sorts of stuff. Too bright. I needed this. No more fish for both of us during the night, which means Carl is still five points more than, six points more than me. Nine three. Well, I need this and more. Can <laughs> you imagine if it's the biggest fish in the lake and you just out and out win just with that? Okay. Yeah. Eight, nine. <laughs> uh oh. There we go. There's my prize my efforts not exactly like I put much effort in this morning I was in very deep sleep just 
hiding away from all the rain that came, but it did wonders to the fishing and I managed to bite, which means I'm only one point away from Carl. It's gonna be close today. It's gonna be a matter of who can probably catch the next carp, if we can catch another carp. But there we go. Quite similar to Carl's one, really long. Really skinny and long, powerful fish. Nice. Morning update, it is pouring down with rain and it has been for the last few hours. That carp that I just caught woke me up and has now got me thinking about the competition again. I'm one point behind, but it's all been quiet in Carl's swim as well, so things are looking quite close. This is it. If this is another carp, which I'm pretty sure it is, this is gonna boost me so much. But I've gotta land him. He is pulling really hard towards the reeds. Come on. And that puts me in the lead. That's exactly what we needed, a morning bite on my rods. Two morning bites. Well, this is exactly what I needed to happen. The carp get on the feed this morning over my spots, and I'm ahead. This is a worrying sight. Carl has gained the confidence to get out in the rain with his feeder rod and try and win it back. The bream fishing yesterday afternoon slowed right up for Carl and all I could hope for was that the shoal was still in another part of the lake. But I could tell Carl was putting maximum effort into it, regularly recasting his feeder and baiting his swim little and often. It's a 10. No. Where's my net? <laughs> what have you got? Oh, it's a tench. Oh no. Some weed and also a tench. How close does that get me? 10, 11, 12. So you're one behind. Oh, it's been hard this morning for me. I've just had to watch Alex catch two carp. But this pretty little tench gets me three points and I must be pretty close now. I think you're one behind me. One behind, but I'm just going to keep on trying. Time is certainly ticking away and I just need one more bite. One bream would bring it up to a draw. Another lovely tent would put me in the lead. There's one. <laughs> yes. yes! Champion! Oh wait, no. You're no. drawing. Drawing. I literally got minutes. Come on. At this point I was getting worried. All Cole needed was one more point to secure himself a win. Whacking around and then just nothing. 
All I could do was watch at the same time as hoping one of my rods would magically burst into life. How long have I got left? 10 minutes. It's got to be less than 10 minutes. It was, like 10, it was 10 minutes left when I, had, when I had the fish earlier. I need one bite. As long as it's a bream tensile carp, then I could win. Well, I'm rushing now. I don't think it's going to happen. It's not looking good. Even if I don't catch one though, it's at least I didn't lose this time. Unless one of my rods yeah, over there. That's just not going to happen. There was a fish on the end. I literally went to reel in thinking that that was game over. What? The fish must have been on, but just didn't give me a bite. Well, this could be it, Alex. This could be what I was after. <laughs> it's a bream, all right. Oh, and it's over. <laughs> well, what have we got? Two minutes or something. Not long at all. Champion! By one point, no. <laughs> Oh, mate, if one of your rods goes off now, I, I would be so gutted. There it is, Alex. I'm pretty certain just got beaten by a bream. <laughs> no. no, no worse way to lose, eh? Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, yes. Carl had taken the victory and I couldn't quite believe it. Been beaten. Carl was beating me. Yep. No. Yes. Oh, no. Welcome back to Carl versus Alex, the show where I, Carl, try and beat Alex, my brother, at fishing. It doesn't happen very often. He's rather lucky, if I'm honest. Today we're going to be going on our friend Robin's boat down at Brighton Marina and we're going to be targeting bats. We haven't done a great deal of sea bass fishing this year so it should be a good fun trip. This time around, it was a numbers competition, so one point would be awarded for each bass caught. The first area we would be fishing was three miles off the Brighton coast. Look at that. That's a 56 gram jig head. Yeah. That's Small, a, isn't it? It's a beast. How deep is it here? Uh, we are in 60 feet. Wow, it's deep, man. Uh, actually, no, we're at the bottom of the tide, sorry. So 50 feet, yeah, because it's, it's bottom of the tide. Start the clock. Way, <laughs> three hours begin Down. now. So quiet out here. There's like no wind. Who caught most when we were out on the boat before? I think Steve did pretty well. I meant out me and you. Oh. Me. Oh yeah! Yes! yes. Hey! First fish! Woo! Hey! Oh no! One nil! If it goes in that net... Yeah! Yes! Great start! Hey! Fish number one. One nil. Good skills bro. I mean, it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be competitive aren't it? Yeah. Alex? It's not fair. Come on, I'm like staring at my rod tip so much, my eyes are watering. Can't let Alex win again. You might be wondering how we were targeting these bass, and it's pretty simple. We were using jig heads with soft plastic jelly-like lures. 
A jig head is a hook and weight all in one, and the lure is threaded onto the jig head like this. These lures are cast out and sunk to the seabed before retrieving them back in. My balance isn't my strong point. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is the British record bass? I think still, yeah, something like 1912. Right. Boat shorts, very similar as well. That would be ridiculous. I'm currently not breaking the bass record, but I am breaking the noisiest reel in the world record. The aim of the game with bass fishing is to keep moving spots to find where the bass are located. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Rob's hooked up. Well, Rob isn't in this competition. Wait, no, yeah, no, Rob's, <laughs> Rob's on my Rob's team. On your, <laughs> you're on my team, aren't you, Rob? <laughs> we, we agreed that before. <laughs> That's the biggest one, definitely. So the scores are now sitting at one all. <laughs> uh, one for Alex and one for uh, Carl and Rob. <laughs> Well, we certainly couldn't have asked for better weather. It's it, 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 there isn't there isn't even enough wind to cause problems with the audio. Yeah, it's pretty nice on the mics. What is like? It's a shoal on you, and each time, like one misses, the other one's on it. Guys, nice, you're fishing right-handed. I know. Hey, you're gonna have to be given a. No, you're... we're not gonna give you a handicap for that. <laughs> I, I do. I do struggle though. It's a bit awkward. Yeah, I was gonna say you just looked a little bit special casting <laughs> earlier, and I couldn't work out what it was, and then I was like, ah. You're doing it normal round, normal way round. Oh, <laughs> oh sorry. <laughs> That's fine. I'll say whatever you like. We have highly trained editors. <laughs> well, I've been fishing for the last half an hour with my reel screwed on the wrong side. The right side. <laughs> Carl, Carl and Rob will say it's the right side, but now, now we're going to catch way more. <laughs> Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel like a human again. <laughs> Isn't it so weird that every human is better with one hand than the other? That's crazy. No, some people are just as good with both hands. They can write with both hands. I suppose. I mean, those people are really rare. I think. But... Yeah. I can write with both hands. <laughs> you can, but it's illegible. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. Totally missed it. I totally, I totally point. missed it. It was the hardest hit that I think I've had in a while. Oh, that was nice. Nice. <laughs> oh. No, really? Yeah, sure that was definitely it. Oh, who's going to catch the fish? Man? Ah! <laughs> We're all having a, a little bit of a hard time pushing up right now. You just got to be re so ready. Come on, fish. Come on. So oh, yeah. Oh. Beauty. Uh, perfect table fish. So, for the table? Yeah, we'll take one. Yeah. We'll take one today. We're going to have him with uh, homemade chips. Oh, it's got potatoes. He's going to try it. Ooh. Oh, that was. Yeah. Oh, I've got him. Comes in got. Mate, I, I thought I'd missed it, and then he was there again. Well, hey, well thank done. you for the, the netsmanship. Bass, number one for me, which means it is actually one all. We are drawing. This is slightly smaller than yours, I think, guys. Yeah, similar size, yeah. But uh, have to be off the mark. Off you go, buddy. Wee, wow.
So cool watching them like zoom back down in the clear water. Right, I'm a bit slimy, so I'm gonna wipe. Ah! No, <laughs> no, 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 get off me. Off get off you. me. Oh. <laughs> And then I'm going to get back down on and catch another one. Damn it. <laughs> With two hours remaining, things were getting intense. Ah, oh, feels good to not be the only person in the boat having not caught anything. <laughs> well, they're so much spikier than perch. <laughs> Sound like a motorbike, you're real. Zoom, 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 a really high-pitched moped. Did you give him the money, Alex? Uh, no. I've got it in a very nice envelope. Nice one. You haven't licked it or anything, have you? Spat in it. Sneezed on it. Poisoned it with that Russian spy. Novichok, yeah. Novichok. <laughs> it's still one all, guys. It's still one all. So, out there we was in quite deep water out three miles offshore and the fish just hang around that particular spot over the slack tide and then once we got that first push of flood um, those fish just vanished uh, but I happen to know that in here it's very good on the flood tide so we've come it's actually similar depth this is quite considering how close we are in shore it's one of the deeper deeper holes around oh snag we catch that Snags, the bottom of the sea, the, the biggest thing I've ever caught. Rob kept the boat on the move as we continued searching for some more fish. Oh yeah! Number two! I've got to get this in. Oh no, it, it, it is quite small. It's just <laughs> my rod's quite light. Hey, there we go. I'm in the lead, 2-1. It's a lot smaller than the other fish, but it's a, it's a good result. See ya. Whoa. That was a good hit. <laughs> Rob is hooked up again. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Oh, that looks like it's pulling quite a bit. Ah, yes. This could be the equaliser if I can land it. Yes. Two all. Oh, I was getting worried then. Nice. The silver colours. Oh, are they're so incredible. shiny. Like the, the sun glinting against that side of that fish is beautiful. But yeah, two all. Wow. If this was um, uh, champagne, then at the end we could do this. Ah, oh, you. <laughs> <laughs> two all. Come on. We got like 40 minutes or something. Just under. Yeah. It's gonna be like a football score. <laughs> Two one to cut. Oh, oh Rob yeah. is hooked up. That, that one's pulling quite hard. Oh he hit it just there in front of the boat. I was cranking it back in. There we go. <laughs> that is what I'm talking about. Double up. Bass. And, and, don't forget, this is my third one. <laughs> no, I'm behind. That was my third one. And I've got some catching up to do. <laughs> You're on three, I'm on two. And the fishing hasn't been, you know, hasn't been crazy action today, so I'm gonna have to work hard in the last 25 minutes. No. <laughs> it's funny, because Alex won the first two Kyle versus Alex videos we did. And then I won the one that we filmed the other day. Ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Rob is in again. Well done, oh, Rockfish. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, Alex. 13 minutes. Oh. 13 minutes for you to catch a bass. And then I, I need to catch two if I want to win. <laughs> I need two fish this drift because this may be the last drift. It's not going to happen, mate. You got like eight minutes now. I've got the special lure on now, though. Really What's special about that? It's very glittery and shiny. 
You know, you always feel that little bit more lucky after you change the skills, feel like you've done something. <laughs> I don't know. Probably won't make a difference. I'll probably eat one already. Time is ticking, mate, that's all I'll say. That's the cast. Oh. No. Yeah, that was a bite. No. Damn it. No, please. I don't know about that one. The first one was definitely a bite, but. Yep. No. Yes. Oh, no. Fall off. <laughs> Fall off. Well, uh, there's one time when I'm competitive, and that's when it's me and my, me versus Alex. We're in the last few minutes. No, it can't. It can't. Come here. I don't. I don't think I need the net. It's fine. <laughs> I got him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's the equaliser. <sighs> yes. I cannot believe that. Quick, quick, quick. No. <laughs> he wants more than a draw. I need to win this. <sighs> you have got to be kidding me. I had the lead snatched from me right at the end. There it is. And the alarm's going. Last cast of the session. It's, it's, if one of us catches a fish, then, then, it's, then they win, then pretty they much. Win. Oh, God. It's too much pressure. Right, I'm going to focus here. I'm going to watch, I'm watch it so carefully. Can't believe that. And there we go. I thought I had it. I thought I had it in the can. It's a draw. What do we do? I, I feel lost. <laughs> I feel like one of us should have won. Oh, mate. That was a good session, though. Yeah, good work. Good work, friendly handshake. <laughs> That's not how it works, bro. We'll try again. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Well, that was a more friendly competition. No, it wasn't very friendly. We... I was I was like praying that every one of your fish fell off. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Robin. Uh, fun morning out fishing. We've got two bass that we're going to probably have for dinner tonight. And it was a draw. What can I say? I'm a little bit disappointed I didn't win that. But... You're still the luckiest brother. I mean, I got that one just on the end. Not the best brother. Oh, that's very kind of you. Episode four of Carl vs Alex was a draw, which means the ongoing score still sits at one win to Carl and two wins for me. Anyway, now it was time to head home and cook up some fish and chips. Would you like fries with that? They just chase it and look at it, but don't eat it. Come on, smash it. Oh, flipping it, the biggest one, the biggest one took it. As any fisherman will know, there's a whole lot of species swimming in our waters. In this episode of Carl vs Alex, we take on our biggest challenge yet, an endurance multi-species competition. In one minute's time, the grand finale of Carl vs Alex is gonna begin. We've got 20, no, 48 hours. 48 hours, anywhere in the UK, catch as many species as possible. Anyway, match starts pretty much now. So we better get going. Oh, I've got to load up the van. Is your car loaded up already? I'm ready, mate. <sighs> Technical. And here we go. Am I scared? Am I excited? Am I nervous? I'm all of those. For this multi-species battle, the rules are simple. The match takes place within the UK. 48 hours of fishing is allowed from midday on day one through till midday on day three. One point is awarded for each species caught, and should we both catch the same species, a bonus point is given to the captor of the longest fish. Well, that's it. Alex is out of here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 48 hours, we're gonna find out who is the best angler. Oh, me and my brother. Da -da -da -da. I just realized 
I'm out of petrol already. Just doing my final checks that I haven't forgotten anything. Uh, uh, no. Boom. Before I get fishing though, I'm gonna need to go to the tackle shop because I obviously need to get some bait. Toothbrush, deodorant. And I am now finally ready to get on the road. First location, I'm gonna think small streams. I've got some maggots because I bought them yesterday. Uh, yeah, let's get going. Hello, um, I'm trying to find the, do you have dead baits? Like, oh, if you've got bait? any. Oh yeah, Help oh yeah. Yourself. Cool, thank oh, you very much, oh. thank you. Right, I've got some maggots, I've got some dead baits. As if sibling rivalry wasn't enough, we decided to throw in a forfeit for the loser. Whoever scores the least points will have to drink a smoothie made from whatever bait we have left over at the end of the competition. We have been blessed with some beautiful weather, which is really lucky because I was dreading having to do this whole challenge in the pouring rain. I was getting started with a maggot feeder, casting it up into the tunnel running underneath the road. Oh, there's one. Chablet. First one. First fish of the entire competition is that tiny little thing there. Oh, for it to count, I need to take a photo. And then I need to send that to Alex as well. I was just sending a picture of a chub to Alec. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> As Carl said, he's off to a very quick start. Chub. Well, thank God it's only about three inches long. Rods, rock pack. Hello, dog. Alex was off to his first location, a pond out on the edge of some farmland. Oh, good news, new species. This is a gudgeon. It's quite small, I'll be honest, but it's another fish. Off you go, mate. No, Cole just sent me another message. It's got a gudgeon. There's two. All right, we're here. I'll get this cast out. At this first location, Alex was going to fish for carp with two rods and try for rud on the third. We've got two rods out. I was off to a great start, catching another decent chub from Ooh, under the bridge. That's a bit better. Oh, yeah. About 25 centimetres, that is. Lovely. Now all I needed was a roach, and I'd caught most of the species in this little pool. Oh, I'm getting bites. He's not answering. He's probably crying already. Worried about losing, probably. Alex's cart rods hadn't moved an inch, but I was still catching. 16 centimeter gudgeon. That's a long old gudgeon, that is. Well, next cast. There it was, the roach I was after. Carl's got a roach. It's on three now. Well, that's Chubb. Gudgeon and Roach ticked off. Alex isn't going to be best pleased. I don't think he's caught anything yet. Let's get packed away. Oh, geez, this isn't going too well. I've been fishing for about 45 minutes. Zero bites, not even a rud. I'm going to move around the other side of the lake, I think. I was well in the lead and now in search of pike, so I drove down to the deep tidal river. I'm thinking this stage of my challenge is going to be one of the more difficult ones. Pike are difficult to catch at the best of times. And I haven't got very much time today. I'm all set. Bring on the pike. Just turned up at spot number one for the pike. Nice little slack on the near side. Relatively quick water on the opposite side. I'm giving it 30 more minutes. And if I don't catch any fish, I'm moving on. So I can't waste this much time.
The rain's just started. Hopefully it stops soon. I've got one, I've got one. It was on the rod that I had on a maggot feeder for rud. And I've hooked the carp, but this is really light line. Come on. Yes. I doubt he's gonna win biggest carp. Oh, geez. Oh yeah, we got one. We got another one. This might be bigger, this one. Oh no, he's tangled around the other rod. This is a mess. Yes, 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 yes. We've got a little carp and a big carp. I've got to measure the bigger one. Here's the little one. He's going straight back. 60 centimetres. Sixty centimetre carp. There we go. That's what I needed. It's going straight back. There you go, mate. Oh. Right, I'm getting out of here. The pike weren't easy to find, so I went for a walk upstream. Just taking a five-minute break to eat some lunch, and next I'll be heading to some local streams, some really small streams, to try and catch a few more other species. I'm trying to get all the local stuff done before we then head further afield and try and catch some of the more exotic species. The float's just gone. The float is just gone. Oh, it's got to check the drag. Here we go. Yes! Yes! There it is. Oh, oh, oh. That was so exciting. That is a pot. He's only just hooked. Yes! Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Right, forceps. That is a beauty. Oh, I'm so chuffed. But the hooks are out of the way. Pike. There we go. Brilliant. And off he goes. There we go. Just sent a picture of a pike to Alex. Although I did notice whilst I was on my phone. Alex has caught a carp now. But I'm gonna try for carp tonight. I've got a plan. Let's go. Whoa, look at this. It's really blocked up at the moment. I think I might try up here first. Well, things are going a little bit better than I was expecting. Well, goodbye river. Thank you for giving me a pike. There should be a number of different species living in this stream. It's so shallow. Oh, yeah. Fish, fish, fish. No, it's come off. Streams and small rivers can be quality places to find a range of silverfish species. Ooh. Here, Alex quickly yes, landed yes, a yes. roach and a chub. Let's see what Alex is saying. Okay, he's had a roach and he's had a chub. So he's had three species, I've had four. Let's see if we can get a perch. Oh. Oh, oh, this is a big fish. No. The hook was retrieved, but not the unseen fish. All right, for this spot, I've got a net. My uh, ultralight drop shot rod. I've got that set up with a fluorocarbon leader and a drop shot hook. I put the weight on that when I get down there. I've got in my waist pouch some worms. That should be enough. Uh, bait for this spot. Drop shotted worm, one of my favourite ways to catch perch. I'm hoping that there is some around here. It's been a long old while since I 
last cast out here, so I'm not really sure what to expect. Oh, there we go. That feels like a nice fish. Oh, it's a perch, it's a perch, it's a perch. It's a new species, it is a perch. The net pole isn't long enough. Yes. Successfully landing this perch brought Alex's species tally up to four. Oh, yes. That is a fine looking perch. No! Oh, is that a perch? Ah! Oh. I'm getting worried now. Oh, is that fit? No. This is really good. I spent too long trying to catch a calf earlier. But now I've had. I can't remember. Oh, this is rubbish. Well, that wasn't so good. Oh. No, I missed it. I missed it. I had a bite. I had a bite. That was definitely a bite. Oh. I just put it straight in the tree. Oh, it's the only rig I've got. I just snapped it all up. It's the only setup that I've got. I've got to go back to the car. Don't get angry, Carl. Don't get angry. Don't get mad. Don't get mad. Don't get mad. Ooh, I had a bite. Gotta go back to my car and get a new hook and some more line. <sighs> Dreadful angling. Should have been more prepared. Oh. Oh my goodness, this is the big perch. This is a big, big perch. Damn it. No. It's come off. Oh no, that was huge. That was a winning perch. That is painful. Some fluoro, some hooks. I've got drop shot weights down there. All right. Oh, how am I doing for time? Four o'clock. It's gonna be evening soon and I've only fished two places. I have a feeling this match is gonna go a lot quicker than I anticipated. I was walking through this, but I also can't stop looking for mushrooms. Now isn't the time, Alex. Right, I'm all rigged up again. I just put another worm on. We're ready to make another cast. It would be so good if I could just catch a big, big perch now. Yes. It's a perch, I reckon. No, it's a chub. It's a flipping chub. There we go. Lovely chub. Off you go, mate. I need a perch. Man, the sun's going down. The scores were still very level and our location choice is quite similar at this stage. Fish. Oh, would you believe it? It's a perch. It's absolutely microscopic. No point um, measuring the length because I am 100% certain Alex's one was bigger than this. But I get a photo all the same because it's one of my species. Oh, this might be, a, this is a bream, I think. Oh, yes. Is that a hybrid or a bream? Oh, what is that? Is that a bream? 22 centimeters. Oh, there we go. The snap again. You know what? I think I'm done here. Basically, for tonight, I've got a plan to try and catch carp, bream, and tench. So I'm quite excited for, for getting over there before it gets too dark. Alex had now caught his last small stream mini species. There we go. I've caught one. I think I'm done with this little stream. Satnav is saying, hour and 10 minutes to get there. I'll be there by just before half five. That will give me enough time to sort out of the gate, load up my gear and get down to the lake before it's too dark. It's crazy to think that it is pretty much the end of the first day. It's going to be dark in maybe an hour. I've caught a few species, but I feel like I've rushed. I've made a few mistakes. I lost that really big perch. 
which is really painful because I don't think Cole would catch one bigger than that. So I'm just gonna take it slow this evening. I've got about, yeah, an hour before it gets dark. There's enough time to head down to the coast and try and catch something from the sea. It might be a challenge. I don't do much sea fishing, uh, especially bait fishing from the shore. So it might not be easy. I don't think Carl's gonna fish salt water. I might not be the best sea angler, but I did have a sneaky plan on how to capture trout. Michael. Hello, who's that? Uh, it's Carl. Oh, where are you doing? Yeah, good. Uh, what I was going to ask you is, do you know anywhere where I can get a trout? Sweet. Oh, okay. Well, that's going to be an edge. Just got off the phone from my buddy Michael, who I used to fish with when we were kids, basically. And yeah, he's got a few ideas. He's got a few tricks up his sleeve. <laughs> So we'll see him tomorrow. But for now, still on my way down to the Reedy Lake where I'm gonna try and get carp and tench and bream. If I can catch a bass or any other sea species, then this is good. Oh no. No, 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 no. Deary me. She's got tackle everywhere. Alex was now at the harbor where he was going to try for bass. Pretty mad spot. Honestly, you don't know how happy I'll be if I can catch a bass. I've got a bit of a walk on my hands now with a very, very heavy barrow. But I reckon I'll get there and get the rods out before it's dark and that's the important thing. Arriving at the Reedy Lake, I wasn't going to have long before dark. Setting up my carp rods, I grabbed some bright pop-ups and fished them on chod rigs. A good option when the lake is quite weedy. Just felt a sudden sharp pain in the bottom of my foot. A massive thorn. That went through my flipping boot. Ow! Stuff just decided I don't even care if I lose this competition. Look at that sunset. That's that's made my day that has. It's like a fire. It's fiery. The sun was like a fire. That's the sort of simile I used back at school. The sun was like a fire. I don't know what I'm talking about. All I'm catching right now is blooming weeds. No bass still. With the bass not playing ball, Alex switched to a very small hook and used a maggot as bait, trying to get a bite from any tiny species that there might be in the harbour. My rods were in position now and the alarm set for the night. Oh yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. we've got a fish. Oh yes, no way it's a bass. It's a bass caught on maggots. It is the tiniest bass I've ever caught in my life. Right, Mr. Bass, you may be small, but you are big in this competition. Well, on my list of species to catch today, that was probably going to be the hardest. And because I don't think Carl's going to try for bass, I'm not going to try and catch a bigger one. I'm just going to settle for that and then move on to some more species. I'm off. I'm out of here. So, three rods are now fishing. I've put them all on chod rigs yellow pop-ups, small leads. I've cast them to relatively clear gaps in, in the weed. Very early tomorrow, and I mean like dawn, I'm gonna be cracking out the feeder rod. I'm gonna try and get a bream out of here before I leave. So I've made a plan for what I'm gonna do tonight. I'm gonna sleep on the beach, and I'm gonna cast a couple of rods out with some mackerel strips as bait and just see what I catch. I feel, just feel like the more saltwater species I can get, the further in the lead I should get. Well, I managed to catch a fish from the beach. 
It's a new species. I think this is a whiting. Ow, and it's got teeth. Ow. What even is that? Alex has caught something with a big eye and teeth. Anyway, good night. So at the end of day one, the species tally was at five for me and eight for Alex. That said, I definitely had some bonus points for the larger chub and gudgeon. Come morning, Alex was driving again, heading west. Well, I just had the worst night's sleep of my life. So noisy from the power station behind me. Anyway, I'm on the road really early, it's 6.30, and I'm heading down to Hampshire, which is about a two hour drive, where I'm gonna try and catch a big trout. I just woke up and I caught nothing last night. <sighs> nothing at all. And it's freezing, like actually freezing. And my, my welly, which had the thorn in it that filled up with water yesterday, that foot, I can barely feel it. So I've got to get moving to save my foot and I've got to get moving to try and catch a few more species as well. I mixed up some ground bait and set up a method feeder. A bite came almost instantly. We've got a rud now, which is pretty good. Wasn't expecting a rud, to be honest. Uh, I was kind of hoping for a bream, but that might be the next bite. I phoned up a friend of mine a couple of days ago who actually works at a trout fishery. He said if you come down, you stand a good chance of catching a big trout. I'm only about half an hour away now. Whilst Alex continued his journey to the trout lakes, I worked hard at trying to catch a bream. I began packing away as I had a busy day ahead of me. There's a lake. The fish put up a spirited tussle. Unlike most bream, this fish was quite energetic. Ah. Well, I was actually packing away my gear when the rod bent round. There we go. It's actually got some really cool swirly scales there. When scales get damaged or like broken or come off, they end up growing back a little bit deformed, but it can actually look quite cool. Probably the happiest I've ever been to see a bream actually. So this morning I've come to Diva Springs Trout Fishery. Now the main reason why I wanted to come to a trout fishery was because I don't think Carl is gonna attempt to catch a rainbow trout and that is what lives in this lake behind me. I haven't fly fished for over a year so I'm gonna be pretty rusty with the casting but I'm gonna give it my best shot. I was just having a walk around before I start fishing and I came across this pond and it is just absolutely full of huge trout. And I thought, well, this is gonna be actually quite easy to catch one, until I realized this is just a stock pond. <laughs> of course, you're not allowed to fish here. You have to fish in the lake, which probably hasn't got as many as this little pond here. It's getting me excited. I could catch a 20 pound trout today. Let's give this a go. Yes. No way. That is a pike. Look how small it is. Oops, we have caught the camera. Despite his somewhat poor casting, Alex persevered with the fly fishing. Meanwhile, I was losing patience with the carp. All night, the carp rods did nothing. Hmm. I decided to leave the lake and try for carp somewhere else. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. That is a nice rainbow. We're heading down the windy track uh, through the forest down to 
a little lake where I think I could catch a carp. Last night was a write off for the carp. Very disappointed about that, but I've now got like 15 minutes here and then I really need to get on the road to another place. Oh, I so hope there's no one in the car park. That looks like someone. There's someone fishing in the good spot up the shallow end of the lake. Just sending a photo of my trout to Carl. Feeling rather smug right now. Because I don't think Carl's going to catch a rainbow. <sighs> hey, look at that. They are crazy looking fish. Oh, <laughs> doesn't even fit in the shot. Well, Alex has only gone and caught a trout. It's not even night, it was about nine o'clock in the morning and now it's already pulled out a trout. I don't know where he's fishing. Now I'm gonna try and put some of this bread, scatter it around this corner on this lake and see if we can get a carp. I'm wondering about what would be down there, but I think it would just be chub and roach and stuff and that's what I've caught already. Next step of the adventure. I caught the rainbow trout. I was kind of dreading that I wouldn't catch, but we did it. And in not too much time at all, it's still quite early on in the day. Well, I saw a couple of fish swirl, like on the bread out there. But I think they might've been chub because there are also chub in this place. Haven't seen any definite carp sightings. I think I'm gonna have to get on the road because I want to go sea fishing. I want to fish the, the, the beach at high tide, and high tide is pretty soon, so I probably ought to get going round about now. But yeah, I'm really happy with how this morning went. I wonder how Carl's getting on. He sent me a photo of a rud and a bream this morning, which are two species that I haven't caught. I actually saw some rud really close in, in the margins, and I was trying to catch them on the fly, but uh, I just couldn't. So Carl's definitely ahead of me with the bream and rod which is annoying but I'm ahead of him on the rainbow trout I think unless he's been really sneaky and caught one anyway I'll better get on my way and uh, get to the next spot all that a disaster this is why I've got the advantage nothing beats this Carl's gonna be eating terrible food I reckon he's just gonna be eating crisps it's even got lettuce in it mmm Mm, that's gonna give me the energy I need to win this battle, this non-contact battle between me and my brother. Too much driving this morning and not enough catching. Now I am far from an experienced saltwater angler. In fact, I hadn't a clue what I was doing, but I spotted some little fish by the seawall, so I dropped down a worm on a small hook. Alex was now on his way to a chalk stream where he was sure to find some new species. I needed to make the most of this sea fishing, but to be honest, I was really struggling. Try as I might, those little fish showed virtually no interest in the worm until I began reeling it back up towards the surface. <laughs> Flung it over my head. What is it? I don't even know. Bye. That bow is quite big. Yes. That's a bass. That's a little sea bass. I don't believe it. The one species I thought I would never catch from here. Bye. Yes. I've wasted enough time this morning doing all sorts of things, but this sea fishing has eventually paid off. Things are looking up just a little bit. Am I snagged? Alex had arrived at his next spot, the River Allen in Dorset. I also had plans to drive in that direction, not least to visit my friend Michael, who works at the trout farm. Just arrived at the next spot. Oh wow, it is so clear. Look at that, I just spotted a trout. Look at him. This time around, I'm going to do a bit more float fishing. On my way towards the southwest, I decided to call in at a little canal to give it one more try for the carp. 
I'm so lost. Where do I go? Oh, crikey, that was a weird, dodgy bit of driving, that. But now we are confronted with the HL delivery man just in the middle of the road. What are you doing? What are you doing, don't you know? I've got a Carl versus Alex multi-species episode going on here. No, it's all right, don't worry. No, it's fine. I'm not in a rush. I'll look you back. Yes! Right, we are now on our way down to the canal where I really hope I can catch a carp. There's just one or two ducks down here. You know, not many, just a couple. Alex had set up his rod and was about to try and catch what lives under that bridge. I had fed a bit of corn and tried lowering in my hook weight into some coloured up water. Oh, first flipping cut. That looks like a dace. Whoa, look at that dace. I just got a message from Carl. Oh no, Carl's caught a sea bass. Well, I've got my dice. Let's sort this fish out. Nice. Back at the canal, things weren't so nice. The water was full of algae and the fish just weren't feeding like normal. Well, there's no shortage of fish here. Oh my goodness. It's a trout. No. That was a brown trout. That would have got me another point because that's a new species. Damn it. I finally found some carp and quickly flicked out my bait. The fish just seemed to dissipate really fast and the wind grew stronger. Carp were playing very hard to get. Oh dear, this is ridiculous. I didn't want to, but with so many other species to catch, I had to get on the move to find some more obliging fish. You can see all the fish. Look at those, no wonder it's easy. There's about 40 dace just sat there. Very disappointed about that. <laughs> Still no carp and many, many, many hours wasted trying to catch them. But, time for some lunch. Good old hula hoop. This should cheer me up. No. Of course, Alex was still catching them though, this time hooking into a brown trout. Yeah. Oh, yep, first cast. 32 centimetres. Beautiful, that was cool. Thank you, mate. Oh, they are the size. Oh, look, oh, that's a little one. <laughs> yeah, look, that's a tiny one. The passerby may have laughed, but that little minnow was yet another species added to Alex's tally. Alex's willingness to fish in this tiny shallow stream had really paid off with three new species. Meanwhile, I was still driving, my destination also being a chalk stream, but the larger, more challenging river itching. I'll be honest, making this video has been a bit weird. It's actually felt really unusual not to have Alex fishing with me. You know, catching a fish and showing it to each other. And of course, Alex films better than I do when I'm on my own. Look at this. Can't keep my camera still. Can't keep all my batteries charged. I think I need Alex. There's a pigeon sat in a tree, just chilling. Let me get a shot of him. Look at it. There's a pigeon sat in a tree. Anyway, I'll stop annoying you now with the camera. Arriving on the itchin, I hoped that a minnow, grayling or big roach could show up. This is a spot that a good friend of mine showed me. Fishing can be quite a solitary hobby, but I've met a lot of lovely people through angling, and I'm very grateful to those who've shared their local knowledge with me over the years. Oh, lovely roach. Oh, is that bigger than the roach Alex caught? 
A roach was nice, but a big grayling was really what I was hoping for. Ooh. So I bought a ticket for the car park for five hours, but I got that done in... Basically, I'm so, so good at fishing. Another quality roach hit the net, but it was time for a move. I feel like we're making good progress today. Although, I've lost count of how many species Carla's caught, and I've also lost count of how many species I've caught. So actually, I have no clue. Maybe I'm a little bit ahead, I've just got a sneaky feeling I'm maybe a couple of species ahead. No, I'm stuck in traffic. There's one. He's holding deep. Please be a grayling. He's fighting good. Wow, that is holding deep. That's a big fish though. <laughs> Crikey. We got ourselves a better one this time. Nice trout. Where would I find minnows? By this point, I really began feeling the time slipping away. Does anyone have a boat I can use? Oh no, it's a one-way system. I need to go up there. Somehow I need to drive back round to near where I was, but a bit further upstream. There's, a, there's an area there where I've seen minnows. Hopefully this pays off. Oh, there's some fish though. I know there are minnows. Minnow, smallest minnow in the world ever, but it is a minnow. But now it's time to go and see Michael. I reckon he's about 10 minutes drive from here, um, but because I've been on the road and that, I'm just gonna have a bit of a freshen up before I head over and see him. Before you all say it, I too have noticed the severe drop in filming quality <laughs> between this and our previous videos. There's good reason for it. I'm in a right hurry and I really want to beat Alex. Now, if I can find my phone, I'll put it in the map. Okay, I'm gonna be a tiny bit late. Sorry, Michael. Alex had now arrived in Weymouth, where he had somehow become distracted by the local wildlife. Hello, mate. How's it going? What? Are you serious? It's coming so close. Literally he's standing just here and he's just playing around in the leaves like a little kid. Let me just show you how close they are. That. Uh. Is that nice? What are you doing with your head? Oh, there it is. Hey. This, yeah. Oh, it's really hard to film like this, everything's back to front. Anyway, this is distracting me from the fishing. Oh, it looks really windy. Michael! Alright mate. Am I in the right place? You are. Where should I park? Here, so you must be. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> First of all, he showed me the trout stream in his garden, packed with a load of fish that he'd bred at his work on the farm. At a very contrasting location, Alex was searching out saltwater species in the harbour. Here goes. Oh yes, yes, yes. What is this? He'd managed to catch a weird little white fish, just like the one that I'd caught earlier in the day. Does it count if I don't know what it is? 
Alex's decision to fish salt water in the harbour was a good one. These areas hold so many different species and it was beginning to pay off. Michael had shown me a spot near his house where I managed to catch this vivid coloured perch. 31 centimetres did you say? Yeah, 31. It's funny. Whoosh, whoosh. Lovely it's bit of guiding whoosh. by Michael. Oh, there's a dog. <laughs> I was going to get a shot when I send him this. We got a rat. Now I'm on the saltwater multi species. He won't know what's hit him. Oh, bloody dog. <laughs> you, Mike? Nah, I wasn't. Alright, I've got to spot, try and spot a big one. It'll be bigger than Alex's. There's a nice one. Oh, it's incredible! I will admit, there was very little skill involved in this fishing, as they're stock trout. But yeah. I wasn't going to say no to the opportunity of catching a big rainbow and maybe beating my brother. I nearly had him. <laughs> that was so close. <laughs> he, he ruined my lure. Oh dear. He's tangled my lure up. Come on. Come on. No. They, they, they just chase it and look at it, but don't eat it. Come on, smash it. Oh, flip it at the biggest one. The biggest one took it. Oh God, it's done me in a snag. <laughs> oh, it's got to be bigger than that actually. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, there he is. How big is that? There you go. Oh my God, Michael, it's huge. Not the first time I've heard that, Carl. Oh dear. Oh, hello. It's a beast. Well, thanks to my buddy, Michael, I've got myself a rainbow trout. The day was coming towards its end and down in the harbour, Alex was catching all sorts of fish around the boats. Look at that, look at that, it's a new species. Don't ask me what it is but it's cool looking. Light's just fading on the second day of the competition. Today's been pretty good. Ticked off a number of different species and had a load of fun. That clear river was uh, good fun watching the float go under. And I've just spent the last few hours fishing maggots and uh, just feeling for bites with a split shot along that wall and alongside the boats. Even though this is a competition, it's actually great to just get out and experience a number of different places over the last few days lots of different scenery a nice adventure i think this is where i'm going to spend the next few hours into dark looks mega out there back at the trout stream michael's girlfriend made me a nice cup of tea before we headed out for some pike fishing full of rats alex then met up with andy mitten a great guy who has an incredible knowledge of the saltwater opportunities around Weymouth and beyond. Hello. Hi. Yeah, I'm good. How about you? Yeah, I'm good. Uh, I just had a bed of rats, like, oh, right, okay. about that big. <laughs> and if you really want to be fishing with lights. Uh, another rat. Is it a corker this time? I think you've got a corker. No way. I think you have a corker. Yeah, Is that a corker? Yeah, no. Oh my goodness. Andy turned up just in time, helping Alex identify his latest catch. He was pushing further and further into the lead. After some unsuccessful piking, Michael sorted me out with some food before it hit the road once more. He offered me a bed in his spare room, but knowing that Alex was leading in the challenge, this was no time for sleep. I was going sea fishing too. <sighs> and we're back on the road. And we're back on the road, this time towards, heading towards, sorry, the south coast. Somewhere we fished a long while ago and caught sea fish. I'm not going to sleep, I'm just going to fish. So let's get to it. Heading west to the only reliable sea fishing spot I know, I decided to call in at a small river on the way to the ocean. Just had this little crab grab hold of my bait. It's not a fish though, so it doesn't really count. There you go, mate. <laughs> I've now got a full tank of fuel and a little bit more food too. Which way do I go? I've got 
quite a drive now. Whilst I whittled away the miles, Alex was racking up the species. Just caught myself a little pollock. With the help from Andy here, <laughs> the micro fishing master. That's fine. <laughs> here, I might be able to catch a dace. Might being the important word there. I don't know, I don't recognise any of this. I've been here before, but I'm just not recognising it at all. This isn't the, I'm so lost. This is freaking me out. Hopefully it's just down here. Somewhat disorientated, I struggled to find the spot I had fished a few years before. I'm sitting by a river next to a car park in the middle of nowhere, a long way from home at just before midnight. Sometimes I do wonder, like, what's going through my head? <laughs> leaves. Bloody leaves. And yet another species. This time it is a rock goby. Look at those patterns and colours. This better not be Alex again with another species. Dearing me. It's not going well. Has he said anything about the catch? Or but he said he's going sea fishing tonight. He literally sent me a message saying he's going sea fishing. I don't know where he's going to go, what he's going to do. Well, it's midnight in a secret location, and Andy has put me on a flounder. Oh, awesome. Thanks so much, Andy. No problem, mate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, quick, quick update. How is it going in Alex's life? Well, I've been fishing all night with Andy and uh, I've caught quite a few species. That's where I'm gonna sleep tonight. Alex had flown ahead, racking up a seven species lead thanks to the saltwater fish. I had caught some bigger fish though, so overall I felt the score was quite level. That said, I was now on my way to do some sea fishing too. However, as I arrived in the car park, I was about to get a bit of a shock. It's actually quite late now. No, what the hell? What the hell? <laughs> Who has just turned up here? What? I was like, there's a car. Why are they looking at me? <laughs> what on earth are you doing here? Oh, what are you doing here? No, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Oh, enough of that. Seriously, what are you doing here? I'm catching more species than you. Is this where you had all your fish? No. There's, there's, that's not why I'm here. So I'm back in the van. Alex has, I'm pretty certain, caught most of his um, sea species from the oh. spot down here. Yeah. Do you want me to give you some actual... <laughs> I don't think I'm going to take, like, take any advice from you, Alex. Some real good advice which will save you time and it will mean you can get some sleep tonight. Where I caught all those fish earlier, yeah. there's there won't be any water, or there will be very little water. So what the ah oh, the tide? Yeah. I didn't check the tide times. Exactly. What is it now? It's low tide. Take that information and do what you will with it. Hmm. But yeah, we're gonna go get some food now. The two teams have come together. <laughs> Is anywhere going to be open at this? Yeah, time? McDonald's drive through 24 hour. Oh. But also, it's bad because, like, we're so tired and. Oh, are you kidding? Things have just gone from bad to worse. Not only is Alex in the lead in the multi species competition, but McDonald's is shut. How can a 24 hour. Thing is up. McDonald's be shut? No. Stranger things have mm. happened, I suppose. Yeah. Alex, Alex <laughs> has caught more Carl and Alex's caught. biggest problem of the day. <laughs> McDonald's is shut. I think the tide being out was my biggest problem okay, of yeah, the day. That was... That's really messed up my plans. Are we gonna not eat then tonight? Well, that's the only option. That is the only place that's open. Cool. Let's do it. Oh, 
it's a bird. The wildlife here is phenomenal. Hello. Coco. Are you talking to it? Yep. <laughs> what was that all about? I don't know. Turning up at the kebab shop, we noticed they were closed to customers and only doing deliveries as it was so late. <laughs> Hello, um, I was one, um, you do delivery, right? Yeah, we do delivery, yeah. Um, any chance you could deliver something to the car parked outside your shop? <laughs> I can't, oh, just what, run, hold on, hold on, run a car, just run a car, no worries, yeah, there's absolutely fine, we can do that. Right. Sweet. Alright, well, I'm sorry, one second. <laughs> hey? What's that camera for? I was just filming my friend. Oh, friend! You filmed your friends? Yeah, yeah. Alright. Once we eventually got our food, we went back to the car park to eat and then sleep. That was so cool. This place has got loads of wildlife. <laughs> After a good bit of munch, we set up our camp beds next to the cars and got some much needed rest. Albeit for only an hour or two. That was a very, very bad sleep. Woken up on Friday morning. It's 3.30. It's cold this morning as well. I'm up so early because I've got to drive about three and a half, four hours to where I want to catch a barbel. And then I've got to try and catch a big pike. There's Alex. Getting ready for his day, multi-species hunting. Carl's just headed off. Oh, Christ, there's a speed bump. And now we set off for a two and a half hour drive to the River Y, where I'm gonna try and catch some barbel, or a barbel, and maybe a bigger chub than Alex is likely to catch. With so little sleep, driving was tough. It can be super dangerous when driving too tired, so Alex ended up pulling over. I can't do this. I've had to pull over. I need some more sleep. I can barely keep my eyes open, so I need to sleep a bit and then carry on driving a bit later. I was now very nearly at the river where I was going to meet my Welsh friend, Andrew. Andrew is a regular on the River Wye and knows some great stretches. Hello. There he is. <laughs> you didn't know who I was for a second, didn't you? No. <laughs> Where's my light gone? There it is. How are you doing? I do good, mate. Yeah, boy. Ah. What have you got down there? Oh, another species. <laughs> oh, Rusty's putting out a little bit of bait with the feeder and I'm gonna go and tie a couple of hook links up. So I've got some hooks, some line. Uh, do you have, yeah. oh no, I've got one, it's fine. Let's get into that stage in the session where I'm losing everything. I can't use pepper on me without starting to eat it. I'm quietly confident, right? You've said it now. We're gonna blank. No. Oh. I should get on the road again. Alex had missed out on valuable time, but was well ahead on species points. That said, I'd caught a few decent sized fish, which I hoped would give me enough bonus points to at least have a chance. A larger minnow put a small smile on my face, but what I really wanted was a barbel. Odd tip shot. I finally woken up a little bit. Not really. Oh, where am I going? Oh my god, I'm in the wrong lane. So, I'm nearly at the river spot where I hope to catch a barbel. Unfortunately though, because I took that nap earlier, I'm gonna arrive there about an hour and a half later than I had hoped. Which means there's gonna be not much time left for the pike that I wanna catch later. My time advantage was slipping away as no bites came for an hour or more. Setup for the next spot is really simple. Short rod, small reel. I've got just a split shot 
and then a size 6 wide gate hook and then on that I'm going to put probably a piece of spam right let's do it where Alex was fishing, he stood a good chance of a chub or a barbel, but there really wasn't a huge amount of time left. What are the dogs looking at? Are they looking at me? They're waiting for a fish. Oh yeah. Observing the barbel for a few minutes, Alex prepared to make another cast. Oh no, I just see one. There's one there. Oh my goodness. You've got one. No, no, no. Yes, we got a barbel. We have got a barbel. Got some bad news. Alex has caught a barbel. Look at look how big his one is. I feel like if we get a bite from a barbel, we could beat that. Andrew's chucked a little bit of bait in further downstream. We're gonna go down there uh, in about half an hour if this spot still hasn't done us a barbel. Alex's next spot was a pike lake, which holds a lot of big fish. He was clearly eager to get there and beat my pike for size. Just got a message from Carl. He says, I still can't get a barbel off the Y. Fingers crossed it stays that way. This is gonna be a rush. It's 9.30. Let's go. Yes. Going so. The rod's bent around. We've hooked something. What's it gonna be? Oh, it's a big old chub though. Yeah. My map is saying two hours to the pike spot, which gives me about 20 minutes of fishing time. All right, let's get to this spot without any traffic, catch a big pike, and then we're done. Look at that. It's not the barbel that we were after but we have managed to catch a good sized chub. I'm gonna get it measured, because um, I'm pretty certain this will be bigger than any chub Alex catches. Got a big old mouth. Yeah, mate, look at that. Well, awesome. cheers for showing me the spot, Andrew. No problem. Yes. A chub was great and all, but should I manage to land a barbel, it could very well earn me two points, as the barbel in the Y average a good size. We decided to move downstream and try to find them. I was full of anticipation as I cast out. It is 10 minutes until the match is over and I still haven't arrived. Things are not looking good. Rocky got one, yes! <laughs> that was painful. That was genuinely painful. That was a barbel. Yeah. I don't think that was a chub. The bite whacked over. You wouldn't believe it. I've just arrived at the entrance to the place where I wanted to fish for the pike. And it's one minute two. I drove all this way to get here late. Oh. Yes, that's a barbel. Well done, mate. We've hooked one. We've only got a hook for one. Wow, look at the swirl come up off of it. Oh. No way, mate. Double. That's massive. Well, that was a tough bit of fishing, but we've got one in the net and it's really decent. That's probably my biggest one I've ever caught off of the Y as well. Right, let's have a look at it. Mate, oh, that's oh, huge. <laughs> that, no, 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 that is actually a that's double figure barbel. That's huge, mate. Absolutely incredible. 
Yes. Yes, indeed. Oh, we were starting to worry, weren't we, Andrew? Not even gonna measure it because I know for a fact Alex won't catch one this big off of the river that he's gone to. Yes. Two very happy fishermen. It's one of those rare times where everything just pays off. And there it goes. Packing away, I felt amazing. That barbel had really challenged me, but all had come good eventually. And that is a wrap. It's time to head home. I don't really know where we stand now on the points. I'm pretty certain Alex has won on numbers of species, but I've caught some decent fish this trip, and that might give me a few extra points, a few bonus points that could make the scoreboard, the final scoreboard, quite interesting. Alex was already home and had begun drawing up a scoreboard with all the species on it. Wow, what a mission that was. Oh, hello Alex. I wanna know who's won quick. Well, let's make the smoothie first and then once we've done that we'll find out we'll, we'll add it all up. There's there's gonna be we've got to do some maths. Well the time has come to make up the super smoothie. One of us is gonna have to drink this. So we've got some spam that was left over barbel bait. Oh and all the juices. Mm. What was in this bucket? I don't even remember. Oh brown bait that much yeah it will make a lovely texture no yeah the first day i went sea fishing with mackerel i can smell it from back here i thought you were gonna just chuck the whole lot in i think if we blended this it would just turn into like a paste so we need some liquid Luckily, yeah, I've got some Fanta. <laughs> who, who doesn't start a smoothie with Fanta? Exactly. It's good. Oh wow, it works. <laughs> I'm gagging it. It's right. <coughs> this is looking dreadful. Oh, look at the consistency as you pour it. I don't know what to say or think. I just gagged straight exactly. away. Exactly. As soon as I smelt it, I gagged. All right, anyway, let's bring it inside. Cheers. Right, I'm gonna put it on top of there. Sit down. Your phone? Yeah. Good, because you're gonna have to provide <laughs> evidence of each fish. You're uh, supposed to send a photo. Okay, I didn't send a photo of my last fish because it was right at the end. Right at the end. It was my biggest ever barbel from the River Wye. No. It was literally 12 pounds. No. 11 or 12 pounds. Really? Yeah. Anyway. What? So, if you guys can see this, one point indicates one line. Okay, so one point for each species that we catch, yeah. and if we both catch it, it's there's a bonus point. We'll do the bonus Whoever points. catches the biggest yeah. one. Okay. We'll do a bonus point after we've just ticked off all the fish that we caught. Okay. Let's start with chub. Did you catch a chub? Yes. Uh, did I catch a chub? Oh, I did. <laughs> Big one, too. Uh, uh, gudgeon. Yep. Yeah, I saw your photo of a gudgeon. I caught one, too. Roach? I definitely caught one. Yep. I caught a few, actually. Well, we're, we're pretty level at the mm. minute. Uh, carp? Oh, yep. Don't even talk to me about carp. I had a nightmare on the carp front. Pike, thank you very much indeed. Yep. Oh yeah, you got one. Didn't you catch yours on the fly? Yeah, it's doesn't, eye was bigger count. than its belly. Doesn't count. Uh, perch? Yep. Roach, you had a you had a weird hybrid, roach bream thing. That's, they're, they're basically not fish, but they are species apparently, so. Different species. Uh, bass? Yep. <laughs> My one was literally that big. Uh, whiting, oh, yeah, I saw your whiting. I caught a rud, did you? No. No! And the lake you started at is full of rud. I know, but I just, didn't, <laughs> I just couldn't catch them. Uh, what have we got now? Um, bream. Nope. You didn't catch a bream? No. Unlucky. Uh, rainbow trout. Yeah. Oh, we both got them. Brown trout. I got one. Yep. You got one. Weird little white. Yeah, that thing from the sea. I um, caught one. I saw you had one as well. Andy told me what it was. 
It's a weirdo white fish in my opinion. Sand smelt. Sand smelt. Yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. Dace. Yep. Minnow. Uh, oh. Ras. Oh. Yep. And you also got a cork wing. Oh yes. Pollock. Yep. Mm. Rock goby. Yep. Oh, you're just taking the piss. Black goby. Oh. Also, yep. Fla <gasps> Flounder. Yes. So finally. Barble. Thank you very much. My best one ever. Oh, just... that I thought I had. I thought I was up on the barbel. So let's work. Shall we add that up now? No, we might as well just. Okay, let's we do the bonus see, points. Yeah, add the see. bonus points. So first of all, chub. Who caught the biggest chub? Look at that. 52. Fifty centimeters. Fifty-two, Alex. My one was. Um... Oh yeah, yours is perfect. <laughs> Twenty-one or something small. So I, I get a bonus point for that. Uh, gudgeon. Oh, you definitely got yeah. a bigger one than me. My one's tiny. Roach, I had a good one off the itchin. Good one. Was it 18 centimetres? Oh no, I've just drawn. No, 19 centimetres. I've just drawn on the sofa. 22 centimetres. No! Well, it's not really. The, the tape measure's kind of bent round. I'd say it's more like 20, 21. Okay, well, it's bigger. Yeah, mine was 19. Cool. Roach. Oh, I'm getting I'm getting a few bonus points here. This is going to be, this is going to end up quite close. Carp. Oh, we didn't both catch it, so there's no bonus points available. Pike. It definitely should be. We both caught You caught a, a bigger pike than me. How big was you? Oh, yeah, your pike was <laughs> that big. Yeah. Cool, another bonus point. Perch. Oh, I had one that was quite hefty, actually. <laughs> Bass. It was 21 yeah. centimetres. My one, I didn't even bother yeah. measuring. Come on! Oh, calm down, mate. Sorry, I was just... I was scared. You look can all, just smell look it. At all those double. I know. Oh. <clears throat> Rainbow trout. My one was big. Oh no, yours was all right actually. Mine was quite nice. Let me check the measurements. Oh, this is nerve wracking. Fifty-five centimeters. My one was sixty-two. No. Look. Damn, it's like as long as your net. <laughs> uh, <sighs> Rainbow trout. Bonus point. Brown trout. How big was your biggest brownie? I don't remember. What 21 was? centimetres. 21 centimetre brown trout. Oh no, no. 32. Third? 32 centimetres. That that's, not, that's not proof. Yeah, look, look okay. at that. Okay, well, let me see that. Okay. No, 32. Yeah. Fair play, that is 32. I took a close up just to make sure. 37. No! 37, what? baby. River itching. Another bonus point. Weird little white fish. You didn't measure yours? I didn't. Did the, you measure yours? The, the, no. <laughs> okay, no, no, we got to we got to compare. <gasps> mine was bigger. Look no, at no, that. no. Look at the length of it all no. the way across <laughs> my hand. So is mine though. My hands are bigger than yours. No, they're not. Is that a draw? Oh, ah, yeah. no, no, no. We, it's we, a draw. Come on, we, can't. we need an independent adjudicator. Omi, Omi, help. See this? <laughs> it's um. Okay, zoom. Oh, a mediator. <laughs> what a fish is. There's what no fish is longer. There's, there's no bias because, like. Oh, God. Which fish is biggest? Right. Hang on, let me just work out. This one. In, you know, in, in yeah, scale yeah. to the hand. Yeah, yeah. no, because the yeah? fingers there, like these bits, are. They're smaller. <laughs> I didn't pay you. No. I didn't. I didn't pay you, did I, Om? No. No, and it's bias. That's bigger. So got we're, a bias referee here. We're, we're the, <laughs> no, this is an in, independent source. All right, Om, okay. Thank you. Um, <laughs> cheers. We won't get you to measure any of the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> Alex won't. <laughs> That's uh, brilliant. I've got another bonus point there. Dace. Whose dace was biggest? Oh, yeah, 26. Oh, let's see. That's not 26, is it? Okay. That's a big one. All right, you win on dace. Minnow. Oh. Oh. Did you measure your minnow? No. No. Oh no. <laughs> Yours is hanging up. Oh, I didn't put it on my hand annoyingly. There we go. Mine's bigger. No. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> thing is, can we just? I think we, you're. We, well, no, we can't award it. Like it's just too okay. okay. Thing okay. is, I'm, I'm happy to set to that as a draw. Shall we know? just give ourselves both? Because it's like the same. We both caught the biggest. Yeah, yeah. so you don't need to add no, no. any points. No, just one, one point each. Okay, well you could do that. But I mean, it's, it's equal, it stays the same. Yeah, but you could have also not added those. And it yeah, alright, Mr. Mathematic. Well, you just, Professor. Waste, you just wasted ink. Sorry. 
uh, you know, uh, Ras, no, and these were all caught by both, uh, uh, not by both of us, but Barbel was caught by both of us, and I'm pretty sure mine was probably just a little bit bigger. Just a little bit bigger. That, if you, thank pounds, you, thank you, thank you. Another bonus point. Oh, I mean, shouldn't have even bothered trying to catch the barbell then. No. You should have gone for Pike. Yeah, because it well, you mm. were going for Pike. I know. You just didn't drive quick enough. I didn't break any limits this whole trip. No, but you did. So now we need to add up the totals. <sighs> okay, let me do it. I'm stressing out, I'm stressing out. Okay, you can kneel down there and actually okay. like do the maths if you want, if it helps. That's fine, you've got to go for a roll in there. Okay. <clears throat> Cole's score is 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 24 points! 24. Oh, it's going to be. Oh, no. Oh. So close. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. What? No! <laughs> you are taking the Mickey. There's 24! Who, whose minnow was biggest? Oh. <laughs> and that's what it's literally. That's I what mean, it is. No, it is. Yeah, yeah. Whose minnow was biggest? We're going to have to do a rematch and not drink a smoothie. <laughs> <laughs> no, one of us is drinking the smoothie. Oh, no. And I know. I okay. think it might be you, mate. Oh, no, I don't know. Yeah, probably think. No. Okay. Oh. Did you have Pollock on that list? Pollock? Yeah, I did. Did you have. I don't know. Don't try and find <laughs> new species. Don't try and make them okay. up, mate. So. Whose minnow is biggest? That's tiny. That's your hand as well. <laughs> it just saved all your photos to my phone. Oh wait, that's the minute that I sent you? Yeah. Oh. <sighs> Yours is bigger. Alex. Off the record. Mm. Pretend the cameras are off now. Okay. <laughs> um, How about you, you, know, you know why I didn't tell you about the barbell? Because you knew it was a draw. <laughs> no. I didn't tell you about the barbell because I caught it. At about two minutes past twelve. Did you? Yeah. No way. Are and you if, serious? And if and if it wasn't for you being my brother and working with you and fishing with you, genuinely being very important to me in the future, and I, I wouldn't be able to live with it. This is getting emotional. I have to tell you, I caught it just after twelve o'clock. Well, that's that's honest. <laughs> so it is on this day. That I drink the smoothie. Oh, I just keep going. That is that is horrible. I hope you all enjoyed watching the video, and here's to many more years of me and Alex making silly little fishing videos I'm together. So, I'm, uh... Oh god! I need, I need, Oh god, my god, oh god, you know when you watch someone being sick, you just feel like... On that rather disgusting note, thanks so much for watching the video. We will see you in another episode coming soon. Oh god, I can't believe you owned up to that.